What's up guys, Double Dog Gamer here, and one of my favorite genres is making a return. This is Silica, and no, it's not just an RTS, it's an RTS FPS game. If you grew up in the 90s, you might remember a gem called Command and Conquer Renegade, where it was an RTS like Command and Conquer, but you'd also play on the ground with like the foot soldiers and the tanks. This is what Silica is. Only in the place of Nod and GDI, you get bugs and humans on a dune-like planet. Silica just came out in early access, and it was actually made by one of the developers at Bohemia Interactive. I guess they have some sort of like program where the developers can make their own games within the company, and Bohemia actually supports it. Now, it is early access. It's a little rough around the edges at times, but this game has a really bright future, bringing back one of my favorite favorite genres from my childhood. So I hope you guys enjoy some gameplay of Silica. Okay, so this is the cool genre we are getting back. The RTS FPS hybrid, like the old school Command and Conquer Renegade days. This was like my childhood, man, playing Command and Conquer Renegade for hours and hours on end. But like, now we get it in a new setting. We get this kind of, like, dune feel to it, which I think is awesome. I think everything about this is exactly what we need with this with this genre, for sure. Um, so that's the silica right there. That's what we need to mine to get our resources. Think of it as Tiberium. Here's the refinery going up. And at any time, I can just hit T, jump over to infantry, and control the infantry! And there's all my other infantry over there. I think I can actually like get into cars too. If I see a car anywhere. Dude, look at how big, like the size difference. Like being an RTS, it looks super small and then you get like right up on it and it's like, holy moly. Let me see if I can actually get into this car. Where are you going car? Come back. Come back. Nope, it's not going anywhere. Dude, look at that, look at that thing. Whoa, look at the size of that harvester. What the hell? Dude, that thing is huge. And that infantry just walked into the side of it. Whoa, dude. That's crazy cool looking. Oh, they're building another one. Oh yeah, see, it seems like the AI will just kind of do its own thing as commander when I take the actual player's position, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. I'd rather, much rather do this, like where I can just do it myself. Oh no, don't get stuck in there, guy. He's, yeah, see, he's building all kinds of stuff. Looks like the other light quads are kind of going out doing their things. I don't really think there's a way to switch what unit you have. I think it's just kind of based on like, oh no, let's do this. He's trapped. So let's go here, human, infantry. Nope, every single time I'm just gonna pop up in the same spot, which is kind of annoying. But I think if I just jump over here and hit like E, I claim it. Yeah, yeah, I can claim any vehicle. Ah, oh, sweet, dude. Oh, look at that. That's legit. Dude, look at that. Dude, it's like Super Dune over here. Look at that harvester go. All right, let's go find some baddies. All right, so we're researching stuff. We got radar station going, research facility, headquarters, barracks. We can make more scouts, riflemen. Um, can't really build anything else. We have the barracks already built. That's churning out, dudes. I think right now we're just kind of waiting, waiting to see, really, what else we can do with all this. Apparently, I can teleport to the action. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I may even select my loadout from here, how? Um, let's go like here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Whoa. There's tons of enemy over here. There's friendly units, but there's enemies chilling over here somewhere. 
About 100 meters on the other side of here. What the hell are those things? Hey, get back here. They're chasing after more infantry over there. We gotta, we gotta go help them. Dude, it's so cool to be back to this genre. The RTS FPS hybrid is super cool. These maps are pretty large too. Those guys are fast. I have no other weapons to choose from. So that's kind of interesting. Are they going to come back? I think they might be coming back. I don't know. It's just me and this other infantry right here. Oh, yeah. He's rolling back. Reload. Nice. The only good bug is a dead bug. All right. Let's get back into the commander seat. All right. We got the quad. We're going to go out, and we're going to try to kill some bugs. I'm coming to help, friends! I'm coming! I see him, don't worry, I see him. Yeah, get some! <laughs> That's what I call a drive-by. I gotta say, performance isn't too bad with it, man. What the heck is that thing? Oh shit, they climb rocks? Oh god, it's coming back at me! Holy moly. Look at this place. I guess this is where their base is. Oh, okay, I'm running. Okay, let's get back to the AI. The commander. We're kind of spoiling it already. We got most of our dudes over here. Let's pull them all back into this area. Have like a line defense here. It seems like one of my biggest issues with this game right now is when you switch into first person mode, the AI takes over as commander and automatically like just does everything for you. Like build, buy units, assign units. And that's kind of annoying. Like I want to have my own plan of action and I want it to be carried out a certain way, even if I'm in first person mode. But the game just kind of like does it for you. And it's kind of annoying the hell is that thing dude it's huge we need more defenses over here oh they killed it I'm not sure what the formations thing does yet but I guess we can do formations of stuff holy moly look at them all where's my heavy quad heavy quad get in there Get him, heavy quad! Kill those things! Okay, we gotta protect that flank a little more. Jeez. What is that thing? What is this? A Goliath? This thing's huge. I feel like I've been cheated. What is rolling into my infantry? I, I really want to take over my guys, but at the same time, like, I, ha I have a feeling the second I take over... The dumb AI is going to end up buying something I don't want it to buy, like 500 infantry units. 
They're just standing under it, shooting like a crazy person. Well, it's early access, I guess. Please give me enough to buy the next upgrade. It did. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Go get that crab, dude. That thing's still alive, bro. That thing's still alive. This thing's like stuck, dude. Dude, what? Look at the health on this thing! Look at the health bar! We gotta get like a siege tank or something over here, man. And I'm afraid to take control and try to fix the harvester being stuck because the second I do, AI is gonna spend all my money on stupid stuff. This game's definitely early access. Needs some work, but it's only made by one person, so it totally makes sense. So I wonder if I can take control of the harvester myself. That would be kind of an interesting aspect of it. I think that's the big issue right now I have with this. Wait, what? I can. No, I can't. That's. I think that's the biggest thing for me right now, is that the commander takes over. All my money's gone immediately. Uh, just because they literally just sent all my troops into the fight and just bought a ton of infantry. So the like the commander just the AI makes up its own mind and does something completely different than what you would want it to do. And I think that's just a little weird. Um, it's kind of counterintuitive to like if I want to play solo. Oh shit, it's actually getting kind of crazy over here. We should probably back off some of our troops. There's another Goliath, dude. Oh my god. Get everybody over here, man. Get them. See, it just it just sends everybody wherever the hell it wants it to go. It's a little counterintuitive. Holy moly! Uh, stuff's actually getting kind of crazy over here. There's like enemies in near the the building. Jumping, you psycho. Holy defensive towers. So, what's going on with the rest of my troops? Oh, they're all getting slaughtered. Fantastic. Nice job, AI. What the hell? Look at that thing over there. He's just smashing all of our dudes. Okay. Oh my god. We gotta send our guy back. We, Dude, you have to have a commander in the seat at all times. You literally need a commander in the seat at all times. Th this thing has barely harvest anything. What? Oh my goodness. We're gonna lose. Dude, what? He just killed all of our guys. We have one heavy out here just trying his absolute best. I don't even know how to make, oh, there we go. Look at him! He's like, I got this shit, boys. like welcome to earth why would you get closer though oh <gasps> his dying breath he killed it with his dying breath he killed the goliath oh my god this thing has still not collected like 
any silica. And it's making me, like, really mad that the harvester is this bad. And I really can't do anything with it. What are you doing? Get over there, harvest all that big silica over there, man. Like, you can back up more, man. You had all this space. I gotta, I gotta quickly do something. We lose the refinery. That's game over. Dude, he can climb up buildings and stuff? What? I mean, he's a bug. I get, it makes sense. I guess. Come back here. You can't just assault my base and get away with it. You think you are? Well, I guess he can. Dude, the harvester still hasn't made it over here. All right, so obviously this game needs some work still. It's early access made by one guy. The genre it is, is amazing and I love it. The premise of this game and the way it's, it's carried out, other than the AI just being able to make all these decisions while you're playing in the first person, I love, I love all this. They can fix the AI, they gotta fix the harvesters. This is going to be an amazing game. I really see myself playing the shit out of this game. But let me know what you guys think down in the description below. Is Silica an awesome game? Do you think it's, a, it's, an, it's something you would play? Let me know down in the comments. Talk to you guys later. Peace.